Ooh, all of this deliciousness can only mean one thing. It's almost time for the Apple Scrapple Festival in Bridgeville, a favorite festival for many people here on Delmarva. And TOSS boss Rita <laughs> Hovermail is here to help us get ready. What can it mean that we haven't even started yet? My mouth's watering. Mm. It's, it's <laughs> apple scrapple time. Oh my uh, goodness. So we're making the famous apple dumplings? Apple dumplings. So these are one of the, the most popular items in our food court. Over about 4,000 are sold every year. So that's a lot of apple dumplings. And you can find lots of quick recipes and ways to do it, but there's nothing better than an old fashioned apple dumpling. So okay. I'd like to show you how to make that so today. Making. So the first thing, important thing is is what you're gonna, is the type of shortening that you use. So mm -hmm. this, this particular recipe has two types of shortening. If you use Crisco, um, Crisco has a higher melting point than butter, so this is, Crisco is what makes your um, pie crust flaky. So if you think about that little hunk of Crisco and it's surrounded by dough, the dough bakes, mm -hmm. um, and before the Crisco melts, so you have that pocket, so that's what makes a flaky ah, crust. Okay. Um, but then, flaky's great, but you gotta have some flavor too, so that's why you add the butter. So in here I have already have two and a half cups of flour, and the recipe is available online for you. Um, and there's Crisco and butter that I've whirled into using the food processor. Right. Mm. Um, so it has nice, it's even and evenly distributed. So then in this bowl, Jimmy, if you want to whisk that up a little bit for me this, and bring okay. that back, this what is has this? two eggs. Two eggs? Um, some water and water? vodka. And what? What? Vodka. Vodka. Or if you're working with children, you can call it holy water. Holy water. <laughs> holy water. Um, <laughs> and so the purpose of that is that, you know, like um, water and flour makes gluten, and the more water that you have, the tighter that gluten, so you mm -hmm. have a tough pie crust. But if you replace some of the water with vodka, you still get the liquid so you have the pliability of your dough, but you don't have um, you don't have that water so you don't get a real tight and tough crust. That's interesting. So you're going to stir that all in. That's um, science, right? Magically. <laughs> We already have. Uh, we did it. Oh, look, right we, did it. Yeah. we did it. We did it. We are great. It's a great, kid. great. <laughs> so now we're going to roll this out. So we want to flour our surface. Yeah. No more than we absolutely need, but we want to get the job done. So we're going to roll this out into a square. Now, I have to ask you, what in the world is a toss boss? Toss boss means I'm in charge of things that we intentionally throw um, at the festival. So we have, we have a lady skillet toss, which is great fun. Women with uh, cast iron skillets out in the middle of the field, see who can throw them the furthest. Um, we also have a, a kid's apple toss, so we have ch lots of little ones coming in up through um, age 10 who are trying to get apples into a basket. So oh, okay. It's, um, so you're in charge of all so of that. So I'm in charge of all of the, all of the things. We also have an invitational scrapple toss um, or on Friday as well. Okay. So how many dumplings is this going to make? This is going to make four. Okay. So this is going to finish out our recipe. And so when you roll and crush, you want to start in the middle. Not a lot of pressure. Right. So we're trying to keep that square shape. So this is only going to make one. We're making one right okay, now. Gotcha. Okay. It's going to make four this total. Gotcha. Make okay. Mm -hmm. um, so that is an interesting. This is a bench, bench scraper. Everybody, every kitchen should have one. Best thing ever invented. <laughs> um, if you're making, um, if you're just making these for your family and you just want to whack at it and roll them up, but since we want to make these pretty mm -hmm. and nice, we're going to cut them in a nice square. So then I have an apple. That's the other important piece of the of the apple dumpling. So you want a cooking apple, a good cooking apple. This mm -hmm. is a Johnny Gold. You can also use a Braeburn or a Gala or a Fuji, any of those that will stand up to the heat. Well, I tell you what, we're gonna we're gonna take a little pause here, take a break, and come back, we're gonna put this together, and we're gonna taste it. We are back in the Delmarva Life kitchen, putting the finishing touches on our apple dumplings with vodka pie crust. We're with the Toss Boss Rita Hovermail from the uh, Apple Scrapple Festival. So we were in the process of putting this together. Mm -hmm. So we are, so we have our nice apple in the middle. Mm -hmm. So um, we're gonna put just a little bit of butter um, because everything's better with butter. <laughs> I've um, heard that before. And then, I've heard that, yeah, I've heard mm -hmm. that. Um, and then we're gonna, so this is an apple that's been um, pared and cored. We're gonna put some brown sugar down in here and sprinkle around. And Jimmy, if you wanna give it a little sprinkle of cinnamon, however much you like. Oh, not a whole lot. <laughs> that's just me. Yeah, just. And then we're gonna bring <laughs> up the edges. So bring up opposite sides. And if the dough doesn't want to stick, you can put a little water, water on it yeah. and hold it in right, right. and tuck these in. So you and need 800 of these? 
How no, many do you make? That we sell about four thousand. Four thousand. I don't know where I'm getting. I don't make thousands. this. No. I don't make this. No. Well, you did a pretty darn good job right there. Not that one. So then we're going to cover. This is a, a heavy syrup, sugar and water. You want to be sure that you boil it to get it fully dissolved. And we're just going to cover those till they're about halfway up the side. Pop this in a 400 degree oven for about 50 minutes until the apples are fork tender. Um, Tenning them then the last few minutes um, if they if they brown too much. Yeah. So. We here. I'll put it right into right the there, oven. Oh, you took it right into the oven. That are already that? completed. The science, yes. And and while you're serving that up, we'll remind everyone the Apple uh, Scrapple Festival is coming up on Friday. It's Friday and Saturday, yes. And Saturday. Now the festival opens at 4 p.m. on Friday, and then 9 a.m. on Saturday. Is this a rain or shine event? This is a rain or shine. We will be there. But the weather's going to be great. It, the it weather's is. Gonna it really be is. Fabulous. So this is in Bridgeville, and it's really it's hard to miss once you get into Bridgeville. Once you get into Bridgeville, it is hard to miss. It sort of comes Just to follow you. The, the Just smell of the follow apple dumpling. Follow the smell, and everybody else going to them too. <laughs> so that just needs like a little scoop of vanilla ice cream, mm. and then um, it'll be you'll be ready. How long that. does it take them to make all of the apple dumplings? Um, when do they start? They start months ahead. Yeah. Because they have to do them and freeze them. Right? Yeah. You, can't, you just can't make that many. But I'll tell you what, they are so delicious, even frozen and then heated up. Oh my <laughs> goodness! This is almost as good as Christmas. It well, really is. It might be better than Christmas. May, than maybe so. You don't have to buy any presents. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you again for all of oh that is tender. It is the apple. Oh my I mean, goodness. these are spoons, and the apple just is tender. Thank you again so much. Thank you. We look forward to sharing this with us. Oh my goodness. Now, if you would like a look at the recipe, all you have to do is let us know. 1729 North Salisbury Boulevard, Salisbury, Maryland, 21801. Shoot us a self addressed tapped envelope or visit us at dumbarborlife.com. Mm. Do I have to stop eating? Thank you, yeah. Rita, <laughs> for coming in and making these delicious apple dumplings.